The Lacteos Mojica Cheese Dairy is a family business. Every week it produces 40 tonnes of cheese for the Mexican market. And every week the company uses 40,000 litres of hot water. It has to be at a temperature of at least 70 degrees Celsius to kill off germs. And to heat it, the cheesemaker uses nearly 100,000 litres of liquid gas. The tanks are kept up on the roof, along with the new solar technology, which is already saving him money. Up to now, we were paying 80,000 Mexican pesos a month for gas. That's around 3,700 euros. Now it's 30% less. But the technology itself didn't come cheap. The solar heating facility on the roof measures 120 square metres and costs the equivalent of 75,000 euros. Now the water is warmed directly by the sun. But there's still room for improvement, which is why the head of technology at Inventive Power is here. They manufacture the solar collector. The biggest challenge is to integrate the heat from the solar collectors into the conventional processes of the factory. Normally companies work with steam that's generated using fossil fuels. It's hard to get customers to realize that they can get the same effect with a solar system as with a conventional boiler. The company's two founders are not just interested in sales. They're both ambitious engineers whose aim is to improve the dairy's energy efficiency. Every project is unique. It takes time to optimize the businesses and to make a real difference to the energy consumption and costs. 550 kilometers to the east is Mexico City, home to a population of 20 million. Despite the abundant sunshine in this part of the world, solar power isn't big business. Angel Mejia is on his way to a trade fair, or three to be precise, all in one place. One of them is Intersolar Mexico. Mejia is here to look around and check out the competition, and also to rustle up new business, his company, Inventive Power, has its own stand. One of our main targets to be here in the expo, of course, is uh, that visitors know about our technology, that this type of te technology is working now on more than 100 companies in Mexico. So we have to convince visitors that this is a real technology that you can install right away. But industrial applications for solar thermal technology remain a niche market. Marisol Oropesa is planning to change that. With support from the German government, she's raising the profile of solar thermal technology across the country. Yeah, there is a lack of awareness. There are many people who still don't know that you can use solar energy to heat up water, for instance. Many people think you can use solar energy just to uh, get power, get electricity. So we need to educate people about this other type of application. The company Inventive Power was founded in 2010. It's built 60 solar thermal plants, which reduce carbon emissions by 4,000 tonnes a year. The principle is simple. This is the solar collector, which has a parabolic shape. Uh, all the energy that catches on the surface is reflected into this receiver. And it, high temperature generates there, so when the water passes inside the tube, absorbs the heat from the sun at very high temperature. The collector has to be precisely positioned. Yeah, the collector, in order to catch most of the energy, has to track the sun during the day. To do that, we have the Power Tracker Pro. Uh, this is an electronic board that has uh, sensors, peripherals, and different components to make the intelligence of solar tracking of the projects. The dairy is one of the company's flagship projects. Owner Rigoberto Mojica is hoping to see a return on his investment within the next five years. The environmental rewards will be immediate. <laughs>